we are still out here at Peace Valley in Pitama. Respect. This is an area where an eight-year-old uh, is believed to have drowned uh, in the waters. Yeah, this is Umsunduzi River. It is currently solid. Uh, we are told that uh, the police divers, including uh, from the police search and rescue teams, were here early in the morning trying to calm the area in their efforts to retrieve the body of the eight-year-old who was washed away uh, by the strong currents on Thursday, on, on last Thursday. With us is Mr. Bungseni Mtlalose, who is a local person from this area, who is going to tell us about some of the efforts that have been done by the community in order to retrieve uh, the body of the eight-year-old. Let us talk to him to find out more about some of the community efforts and also um, some concerns that you had, first of all, some of the concerns that you had uh, about this, some sort of delays uh, by government in trying to retrieve uh, the body of the eight-year-old. Yeah, I know we, we, uh, uh, we were quite concerned about the delays. But uh, our council, the minute to explain clearly to us as a community that um, actually there are technical issues which the rescue team have which is the police, the safety was, was not well because of the high levels of the water. So because of that, they couldn't go down into the river and search deeper where they thought maybe they could be able to find the child. But what really brought us hope was the effort by our local councillor, uh, who then invited us as a community to come down and try to, to help and search while we are still waiting for the rescue team. But clearly explained that we don't have to get to the water. We just need to go where it's safer, but to go as groups so that we can be able to search while we are waiting for the help. So I think that really brought us some hope. Mm. But what is more grateful is uh, this morning, uh, the rescue team did came and uh, our councillor as well, Uu Pungola, did invite us to come and uh, be there and assist the rescue team where we can and then while they're getting to water to try to get the child. So I think we're happy that uh, the process has started, but we'll follow what is safer to be able to do uh, this part well. Mm. As we're saying that the police were always here, was it on Thursday, uh, Thursday as well as Saturday, were here, but they said they were not able to go down to the waters because it was very deep and not dangerous for, I mean, very dangerous uh, for them as it was not so safe. Um, now that uh, police were here, the search and rescue teams were here, are, are you happy about the, uh, about the manner in which they conducted their search? Yeah, we're quite happy because you can see they are putting all their efforts that technically they're able to know where to go and how to get there and what to do. I think for us, that's what really gives us more hope. And more importantly, our council is always there to make sure that they give the proper feedback to us as the community. And also, we hear that this is not the first incident in this area. We also uh, recall um, uh, the policeman, Joaha, who was also swept away by strong currents uh, during the April floods uh, last year. If you can tell us more about that and also the child that went missing as is still now? Yeah, yeah, I think that was a very sad situation. Um, uh, yeah, I think one child is still not yet found, still missing. So having this second child now also missing it's quite a, a great concern about this particular area but also just to comment on that uh, from the feedbacks we've had from our local councillor they are efforts to try to help to deal with this matter cocta to be able to try to assist as well as the other relevant department to try to address this issue of this particular bridge because actually this bridge it was built long time back uh, by umgeni water for their technicians to cross from, from this side to the other side. Uh, by the time, there, was, there were no residents on this side. So my, my thinking is, now because there are people, but the bridge was not actually built for pedestrians. Now that there are people there, the effort from the government was to build a proper bridge for the people to be able to cross. I think there have been some engagement to try to, to deal with the matter. Thanks. That's a local person out here at Peace Valley in Pitama respect, Mr. Spongseni and Dalos are saying that they are quite satisfied with how police have conducted their search and also they did allude to the fact that uh, 
the, uh, at the mo uh, on Thursday when the eight-year-old child was swept away by the strong rivers, yeah, the strong currents. Uh, police at that particular moment were not able uh, to search uh, her body because of uh, the dangers that is being posed uh, by the Solon River at the time. And they are saying that is very happy that today they were able to go down to the deeper waters and search uh, for the missing eight-year-old, uh, especially in the studio.